Abd al-Rahman from the UK's second question, he says that as a student of knowledge, I have doubts over my intention. And this comes a lot and it comes to almost everyone. You cannot be a real believer if you don't doubt your intention. How is that, Sheikh? I'll tell you. Ibn Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, and also Al-Hassan al-Basri said a lot of things that go something like this. Al-Hassan al-Basri says, hypocrisy. Only the believers fear it. And only the real hypocrites are feeling safe that they're not part of it. Ibn Mas'ud says, a believer sees his sins as if he is underneath a mountain just about to fall upon his head. And a hypocrite sees his sins as if it's a fly stood on his nose and he did this and it flew away. From these quotes and so many more, we learn that it is natural and it's a sign of strong man to fear hypocrisy, to doubt your intention. But if this doubt is crippling and calls you to abandon studying and seeking knowledge and leaving forms of worship, then this means that Satan has prevailed and that you've lost. But if this fear and doubt of your intention causes you to be more sincere and drives you further in seeking knowledge and trying to become a student of knowledge or a scholar and to call people to Islam while 24-7 you are rectifying your intention and, and, and fighting with it so that it's pure and sincere for the sake of Allah, then you have won. Ask a question. When I doubt my intention, who is giving me this doubt? Who is giving me this advice that, hey, listen, your intention is not for the sake of Allah? It's definitely not an angel. This is shaitan whispering in my ears so that I would say, okay, I'm not going to study anymore. The intention is extremely important. If I'm associating others with Allah Azza wa Jal in such a work, Allah will not accept it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm leaving. No. Fix your intention. So even if the thought comes and crosses your mind, just contemplate for a second and say, okay, I might be loving appearing on TV so that people would uh, um, listen to me and I feel strong when I command and give people answers. Yes, this is okay. But tell you what, nothing's going to benefit me except Allah's pleasure. Therefore, I'm going to take this all out of my heart and I'm try, I'll try my level best to me, make it sincerely for Allah Azza wa Jal. No strings attached. Nothing is for me. So instead of leaving and quitting, change your intention and all the time work hard on it. One of the Salaf says, we sought knowledge other than for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal for so many years. At the end, Allah Azza wa Jal refused it except to be for his sake. So Allah rectified our intentions and now we're seeking knowledge and teaching it for the sake of Allah. In the beginning, we joined the, the, the classes, we uh, joined the circles of knowledge, not for the sake of Allah, just to get some powers, just to get some, uh, fulfill our egos, just to uh, raise our social uh, status. After a few years of acquiring knowledge with this corrupt intention, all of a sudden, Allah changes your heart and you find that now you're doing it for the sake of Allah, not for anyone else. So don't be uh, uh, afraid. Don't be, get worried. Akhi Abu Abdurrahman, keep up the good work.